Hey everyone, Jake from 8020 Automotive here. Today we are talking about P0705 fault codes. A P0705 fault code is gonna display transmission, range, sensor, A, circuit malfunction, PRNDL input. That is a very complex sounding problem, but ultimately it comes down to one specific sensor, and that's the sensor that controls your gear shifter, and whether it's in park reverse, neutral, drive, or whatever other options you have on your shifter. So first I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of background on the sensor, where it's located, what it does, and then from there we'll talk just briefly on symptoms that you'll get when you have a P0705 fault code, and then we will talk about the most common causes and how to to diagnose those issues as well. First off, this problem is relating to a sensor that's located on the transmission. It's usually mounted to the transmission housing or to the transmission valve body, and it has a number of different names depending on your manufacturer. Some of the most common names are the transmission range sensor or the PRNDL switch or the neutral safety switch. So it might be called any one of those things, but ultimately that's referring to this sensor located on the transmission and what it does is it determines what gear you're in based on where you've moved the shift knob to. So its goal basically is to send that information back to the PCM so that the PCM can use it for shifting, but also can use it for things like making sure that your reverse lights are turned on when your vehicle's in reverse and you're backing up. So this is important for transmission functionality, but also all of the other things that you don't necessarily think about when it comes to being in park versus reverse or drive. When you get a P0705 fault code, essentially what that means is that this range sensor is sending a different signal back to the PCM relative to where the shift knob is actually positioned at. You might be sitting in drive, but the sensor is sending a signal back to the PCM saying that you're in park. And so when something like that happens, that's when a P0705 fault code goes ahead and gets set off. And alongside that, you're gonna notice a bunch of symptoms. One of the most common things you'll notice is that the gear indicator on your dashboard might show that you're actually still in park when you in fact are in drive. You'll also notice that when you're in reverse, your reverse lights might not be coming on, your backup camera might not be popping up if you have one of those equipped. And you'll also notice some maybe funky transmission shifting. It's possible for your transmission to enter limp mode. And in some cases, your vehicle might not start even when your shift knob is in park or in neutral. So now that we've talked about this sensor and the symptoms that you'll get with it, let's go ahead and talk about causes. Of course, the most common cause here is just that sensor itself. The sensor is located on the transmission and so it is opened up to all of the dirt and debris and water that can come up through the bottom side of the vehicle and so it's very possible that the sensor is just corroded or the wiring to it has been damaged because of debris and water and things like that over the years. So your problem is probably the sensor but there are a number of other things that can cause this. If it's not the sensor, the second most common thing is gonna be the wiring that goes from the sensor to the PCM. If it's not the sensor and it's not the wiring, then that's when this becomes a little bit more complex of a problem. And what's left from there is three, either an internal issue with your transmission, which would be a pretty significant problem if you have some internal type wear where the transmission's not properly going into reverse or properly going into drive. Drive. And then a fourth thing is going to be issues with the PCM or the TCM itself. If you've got a faulty powertrain control module or transmission control module, that could cause these problems as well. Now, when it comes to diagnosing and trying to figure out what the issue is, it's really important to look at what other fault codes are present because if you have an issue with your PCM or your TCM, you're likely going to have a number of other fault codes that are being displayed. And you're going to see all of these electrical and sensor type errors all over the place. Place. So if you look at your fault codes and all you have is a P0705, that's a really good indicator that the problem is with this specific transmission range sensor itself. And so from there, all you need to do is go ahead and locate the sensor and replace it. Fortunately, these sensors are usually somewhere between $30 and $75, so they are very affordable. And for the most part, they're generally easy to access from underneath the vehicle. So it's not a terrible DIY to get done, but it also shouldn't be super expensive to have a shop do it if they know specifically what the problem is and where that sensor is located. So in this case, hopefully the issue is with the sensor. If it's with one of those other problems, 
systems, the transmission itself, or one of the control modules, then you're gonna have a lot more diagnostics that need to get done to determine what the issues are and to figure out how to fix it. That wraps up our video on P0705 fault codes. I hope you guys appreciate this content. If you did, please click that like button, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for all of our future diagnostic videos.